Right to Choose Healthy Food got started when the government started shutting down raw milk by over-regulating it, uh, as they do all the time. And this was in uh, 1998. And they basically took uh, the main dairy, which was Stuvies Natural, previous to that had been Altadena, and they made the restrictions so difficult that the milk wouldn't pass inspection but maybe 51% of the time and therefore they were running the company bankrupt. Couldn't make any money. So I formed Right to Choose Healthy Food and did lobbying under that particular uh, trust. And uh, then from there because we didn't have milk the company went out of business then we had to find a club, we had to establish a club, a way to get the, the milk, the raw milk, uh, to people who wanted it here in Los Angeles. So um, James Stewart and I created uh, the Rawson Club. He did all of the logistics and I took care of the legal and I was the, the power end of it as far as uh, formation and he did all of the hard labor work, you know, was getting the food and, and uh, getting it for everyone. So that's how it got started. There will be a hearing. You know, I asked his attorney to make sure there was a hearing because they have no real evidence. Mm -hmm. um, he's a manager, not the owner. Um, his name isn't on any deed at the lot that we use that was donated for our use. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is no evidence against him for any of the charges. You know, if they wanted to come after anybody, let them come after me. I welcome it, you know. Um, so when there's a, and he has a hearing tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and there's a hearing tomorrow to see a, pre, a preliminary hearing to see if there's evidence to justify their charges against him. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't see any. They do have evidence and charges against Sharon Palmer and Victoria Block um, because they were peddling um, their goat's milk, you know, but outside of Rawson. We have a closed environment where nobody's subjected to any of our product, the member's product. So we take care of our situation. Um, Sharon and, uh, and Victoria didn't. So they may have some charges against them, I don't know. But James, they have nothing against him. Would you be able to participate in that hearing helping or you're not allowed? Or? Well, I've offered to testify, but I also signed a document giving that evidence.